KPI X5 News at 6 begins right now with a little known grave site just south of San Francisco. There are so many cemeteries in Colma that there are more dead than living residents. But there's one cemetery that looks nothing like what it should. The buried human remains sit in a field along Colma Boulevard beneath a private nursery. And family members say they aren't able to pay their respects to their loved ones. Let's get you a live look right now at the area. You can see the field sits between the big box retailers, Best Buy and Home Depot. The field is now covered in flowers. KPX 5's Wilson Walker shows us the concern from family members who have loved ones buried there. My great grandmother was moved out here in the 30s like any other people who are buried here. Like many San Franciscans, the search for an ancestor led Rene Monet to Colma. See, you have pipes here. You can see the pipes here. Yeah. And much to Rene's surprise, his great grandmother's final resting place was already well appointed with flowers. We have over 25,000 people be still buried underneath. Yeah, the remains of more than 25,000 San Franciscans now sit beneath this cut flower operation right between the Best Buy and the Home Depot. And if you drive down Colma Boulevard, you would probably have no idea. No idea. Yeah. John and, Rector uh, of Canby, Oregon, was looking for his great grandfather only to find an entire host of family members here. And lo and behold, there were my nine family members having been buried there. That's when I realized that this isn't a cemetery. This is uh, cut flowers. So how did this happen? Well, this relatively small bit of land is just one piece of the larger green lawn holding. It's where a portion of the San Francisco Oddfellows Cemetery was relocated in the 1930s. But over the years, ownership entities changed, property lines were pushed around, and by the early 2000s, the old grave markers had given way to soil, pipes, and flowers. You see there is a grave marker here that has been removed by the Plowing. As for the particulars of the flower operation and what's beneath it, the cemetery has not returned our calls. Now, there are, of course, rules and regulations as to how burial plots should be maintained. So, Renee asked the California Cemetery and Funeral Bureau to investigate. So far, the cemetery bureau considered that there is nothing to say. Now, we reached out to the cemetery bureau to ask a few questions of our own, only they told us they couldn't speak with us because of an open ongoing investigation, so maybe they revisit that previous finding. For now, at least, this kind of incredible piece of land functions pretty much as a private garden on top of some 26,000 graves, almost entirely unmarked and off limits to even those with ancestors just beneath the flowers. We don't want any money. We don't want any public case or whatever. We just want to have access to our, the remains of our family. In Colma, Wilson Walker. KPIX 5.